Hey, welcome folks. Uh, thanks for checking out How to Barbecue Right today. We're going to be talking about Cornish game hens today. I like to call them delicious baby chickens because that's what they are. The way I'm going to do them out, outside on the smoker, pretty easy technique. We're keeping it simple. You don't have to do a lot to these because they are really uh, tasty and tender. I'm stuffing these with a boudin sausage. This is a pork based boudin. It's got a lot of great Cajun flavors and it's going to give us some extra mass inside the cavities of these Cornish hens. And you can see all I'm doing is tucking the wings back and just putting a little butcher twine on the legs just to keep them closed there. That's all the tying you're going to need. Basically you just thaw your Cornish game hens. The majority of the time they're coming froze and then rinse them out, pat them dry really well. And then in the cavity, you just want to start getting this boudin down in there. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Just pack it full. Now, if you don't like boudin or you can't find boudin in your area, you can substitute like a, a dirty rice, like a, a rice and sausage or even a, a traditional bread stuffing would work. Whatever you like, but um, the boudin is packed full of flavor and it's a this is some special boudin that I've got from down in Louisiana and it's, it's really good stuff. So I know it's gonna give these hens a good taste, but let's get them both stuffed up here. It takes uh, about a pound to do four Cornish hens. So that was two big links of this boudin. And I just busted it out of the casing where it's loose and that's all I've done to it. So that's it for the stuffing. Now, we wanna take the wings and we're not tying them. We're just kind of flipping them back, and tucking them under here. See how I tucked it back? And those, it'll kind of be like putting your arms, your hands behind your head. That's what's going on. Now I've got a length of string, you know, maybe 11, 12 inches, something like that. And all I'm doing on these is just kind of crossing the legs, just gather it up, cross the legs, and just get a little basic knot in it. Nothing fancy or anything. A little double knot there. Tie it down. Cut it off. We're tied up, resting. Okay, now that we got the hens tied up and stuffed, we're gonna get some seasoning on them. And the only thing I'm doing here is just a little melted butter. Took a stick of melted butter. We're gonna get it on the outside. It'll give the seasoning something to stick to. It's gonna brown this skin up real nice. And today we're gonna cook these Cornish hens at about 275 to 300 degrees. You know, we're gonna hold them pretty high heat, but we do that so the, the thick parts of the chicken get cooked, but it also, browns that skin up and so you're not going to have soggy skin. It's going to be a good tender bite through skin that will render what fat's underneath it. Now for the seasoning that we're using on these Cornish hens, it's kind of a variation of my all-purpose seasoning, that salt, that pepper, and garlic. <clears throat> I added a little bit of cayenne pepper to give it a little more heat and then I added some herbs, some poultry seasoning that's going to really bring some flavors out. So it's gonna have a little spice, you're still gonna get that savoriness, the salt, pepper, garlic, and then the herbs are gonna add some aromatics for it. And you just wanna give it a good season. This, this is really great on any kind of poultry. And you can use a barbecue rub if you wanted to. I'm trying to just accent the flavors in that boudin and get something that really goes good on, on chicken. All right, now that we have the Cornish hen seasoned up, I'm gonna let them hang out here on the cutting board for a few minutes. I'm gonna go outside and get my cooker ready Stick around, I'll show you how we do these. All right, we're ready to get these Cornish hens on the smoker. Today I'm cooking on my Yoder with uh, some Barbecuer's Delight cherry pellets. Really give these Cornish hens some good flavor. And I'm just gonna get them on the top shelf here, my Yoder. So I got the Cornish hens here on the top rack, set at 300 degrees. Now you can cook these on any kind of barbecue pit you want. Just hold that temperature right in that range so that skin gets done on the outside and it still has plenty of heat, cooks the inside nice and moist, and it's gonna get that stuffing done on the inside as well. Um, we're looking at about an hour and 45 to two hour cook time on these Cornish hens, but we're gonna monitor them. Um, I'll come back and check them in about 30 minutes, see what they're looking like. We'll show you on the video what the skin's starting to look like. If they start getting too done, we may lay some foil over there, but Nine times out of 10, they're gonna be just right. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. We just wanna take a quick look and see how these Cornish hens are looking. Looking really good. You see the skin's still moist. That butter's helping it brown. Coming right along, we're just gonna get the lid closed and keep letting them cook. You know, about 30 more minutes will be the hour mark. We'll come out and check them again, see how things are going. I won't start worrying about the internal temperature until um, at least an hour. That's when we're gonna be making sure that we're getting to 165 in the breast. I'll bring out one of my chef alarms and get it probed 
in about 30 more minutes. That way we can watch it. We won't overshoot these. I don't want to dry these out, so that's why you want to use a real dependable thermometer when you're cooking chicken like this. So I'll show you how we're going to set that up just here in a few minutes. Okay, it's working on the hour mark for these Cornish hens, and now's when I'm going to go ahead and start watching that internal temperature. So I'm just going to pick one over here, get my probe in it. And I'm just going in the breast, making sure I'm not hitting bone, just in the thick part. And I've got it probed. I've got it set at 165. But right now you can see we're sitting about 146. So we've got 20 more degrees to go. That's probably going to be about 30 more minutes, 30 to 40, uh, 45 more minutes. We're just going to keep watching them, get the lid closed. Just let them cook, let your smoker do its job. That's all there is to it. So we're just going to watch these temps now. Come back when the alarm's going off. Okay, the chef alarm says that these Cornish game hens are done. And I always like to just kind of verify 168 and 166. They're all right there, at least 165 in the thickest part of the breast without hitting bone. That's the key. So now we're ready to take these Cornish hens off. Before I take these Cornish hens off, uh, there's one last thing. You want to, anytime you're cooking bird or poultry that you're stuffing, in the cavity you want to make sure that temps up as well so i'm just going to also just stick stick my thermometer in the middle of that stuffing just make sure it's hot enough i mean this one's reading 165 as well with a smaller bird like these cornish hens it's going to be closer to whatever temp you're getting on your breast but on larger like turkeys especially turkeys chicken but especially turkeys you want to make sure that stuffing is proper temperature before you serve it don't serve it undercooked because you can make somebody sick so we're going to get these off here and take them inside and let them rest. And the best part, we get to try them. Ooh, look at all that juice. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect little delicious baby chickens. Okay, so we're back inside with our Cornish hens. Now our total cook time was an hour and 50 minutes before they temped out. And now we're to this point and the last thing we're gonna do is let them rest. So we're just gonna loosely put some tin foil over them. And they need 20, 30 minutes here. Just like, you don't really want them to steam. Look, leave it to where the air can get out, but we just kind of cover it up. And that just lets the moisture redistribute throughout that chicken. So when we cut into it, we're not just gonna lose every bit of juice that we that we worked so hard to save and to keep in there by cooking them the way we have. After these rest, we're gonna come back, cut into one, see what it's like. Hey, it's been about 20 minutes on these Cornish hens resting. Now we're going to go ahead and cut into them and see what we're working with. You can see by letting them rest, we didn't lose hardly any moisture in the bottom of the platter. So let's cut into one and see what it's going to look like. Mmm. It's moist. Plenty of juice still in it. And it's got great flavor. You can see the moisture in it. I want to get off in it and see it gets some of that stuffing. Let's see what we can break down through her here. Check that out. This is what's going to be good. This boudin sausage that's off in there. Get a bite of that. Get another bite of chicken with some skin on it. Woo. That's all time right there. You got to try that. If you can find some boudin in your local grocery store or even mail order some from Louisiana or make buddies with somebody from down there. That's what I did, but give this recipe a shot. So these Cornish game hens, a little something different. Uh, you probably pass by them all the time in the freezer section. Next time you're there, grab a few of them, get you a good stuffing and, and put them out. Don't be scared to put them out on that smoker. It only takes about 300 degrees, about an hour and 50 minutes, and you can turn out just like this. If you like what we're doing here on our YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for checking out How to Barbecue Right. You can visit our website for more uh, videos and more recipes we do a ton of stuff check us out on facebook twitter we love the comments 